Hi there, this is Greg Freeze or at G Freeze. I just want to show you a quick example of how you can use PowerPoint to create a SWF for a Swift animation. It's something I picked up a while ago on the Articulate forums and use every now and then. So let's just look at an example. I'll just preview this. Uh, so this was an animation that I created in PowerPoint. And so I call it a bouncing ball and you can see that the ball is spinning. It was spinning and then it bounces around the screen. So this animation is flash animation but made with PowerPoint. So this is here I, how I did it. I'll just, let's take a look at that. So, real simple, I just created a circle right here. I changed the fill just to give that effect of the spin and then I drew a motion path, this custom form motion path. And then there's two tricks here when you look at the animations. One is I started this on previous and then I just picked this up off of somebody else's screener the other day. You can set your timing. So this spin, it's actually set that it will spin five times in each sec each second or each spin will take three seconds. And then this is the motion path and I set the timing here uh, so this would take 15 seconds. Uh, so that's how long I'll spend bouncing around. and. You, know, you can imagine this is basically what it looks like in PowerPoint. It's going off my capture area there, but we uh, did all that. So I'll go back to the PowerPoint slide. So what you've got to do is do a save as, save this a bouncing ball, and then you go to Articulate, and you publish the Articulate file for web. And I'm going to overwrite what I already have. It's publishing. And then go to this open folder here so you can see and you can see there's a data folder and in this data you've got a Swift file for each slide so slide one was just my title slide slide two is the Swift file for the bouncing ball and then I'll go back to my engage change uh, media and what I've got here is the bouncing ball data Swift I'll pick up slide two this time and we're going to overwrite this and then that will give me the bouncing ball effect. So I'm not sure it could be a, a issue of the animation not being supported that it stops spinning after this next bounce. Um, don't have trouble time to troubleshoot that but just about anything you know you can animate in PowerPoint and then you convert it to a Swift file using the publish and then just grabbing that Swift and inserting it in your engage and then so just uh, something simple. If you're interested in e-learning PowerPoint design, please feel free to connect with me at gfreeze at CenterLearn. Have a great afternoon and thanks, Screener.